Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is May Arroyo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is going to be about making your own cover photo for your Redbubble shop. And the thing is, once I looked into the dimensions, like the first time that I was doing my own Redbubble cover photo, the dimensions that a cover photo on Redbubble should be are 2400 pixels by 600 pixels. And if any of you are selling on Etsy, that number should sound familiar to you guys because it's the exact same size. So if you're thinking about opening an Etsy store for print and demand or for any other type of printables, this tutorial is still for you guys because a lot of the things that I'm doing here are going to be relevant for an Etsy store. And I have a few surprises. I actually have a surprise for two of you because I've chosen two people to design their cover photo. And I'm quickly going to go over a bit what we're going to see in a minute when I go to my computer and I'm going to let you know what covers you're going to see. So today we're going to design a few simple covers together, which means I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you some of the Canva templates that you can use for these sizes. And I'm also going to show you a very, very, very simple and basic design that you can make, basically a background, a name and social links. I'm also going to show you a cover photo that is more focused on the artist. For those of you who are illustration artists or painters or anyone that basically does a physical type of art that can share photos behind the scenes of it, I'm going to show you three product focused cover photos, which means one cover photo that is like a sticker wall that it's just about stickers. I'm going to show you how I grab photos for stickers and use them. And the second one is going to be fashion oriented, mostly with the shirts. And the third one is going to be for home decor. And you can take the system that I'm about to show you and basically do the same with baby photos, focusing on iPhone covers and just, you know, just expand your mind and think about the possibilities. I'm also going to show you a few quick things, you know, like how to use Redbubble sales to your advantage in the cover photo or just simply create a cover photo for a holiday. So without further talking, we're going to go to my computer and let's get started. Just like most of my videos of sharing my screen, we are starting with Canva. So we're going to go to create a design and custom size it and make sure that we are on pixels and type in 2400 by 600 and just open a new design. Now you can already see a few templates that are laid out in here that you can use for your store if you want to make something extremely simple. And I wouldn't recommend most of them because I wouldn't want you to use graphics that you didn't do to present a store. Because let's say I put on this thing, if this graphic isn't a part of the store, then it's not going to be really bannery or really good for that store. You can use a quote if you have a quote that you like, or if you have something that you want to state out to your followers or to the people coming into the shop. And unlike copyright infringements, when it comes to selling this quote on clothes, when you're using it this way and not selling this quote, then pretty much any quote would be fine. You can also take up one of these generic ones, like the welcome one, and just say welcome to Claire Fitz Shop of cuteness for example and what I will do here is that I will remove these parts and basically go to your uploads and you know you upload your very own graphics the things that you created and the things that you did so in my case it will be some of these and you know you just lay them out and place them in different parts and of course I'm not going to really go dive into this one because this is not the point I do want to show you how to create your own without the templates, but there is another template here that I think would be amazing, which is this one, which what you can do here is like, let's say your shop's name is a coffee mug shop or whatever your shop name is. And then you write down here like unique wall art and clothing made with love by Natalie. And then just go like Instagram at Natalie Art and basically grab a bunch of your mock ups, like two of your mock ups. And I really recommend using mock ups that are not from Redbubble because Redbubble mock ups are not that amazing. 
and just grab a couple of mock-ups and just, you know, place them on the sides. And this is like the fastest way to create a nice cover. But we're going to go to what I wanted to show you today. Let's just clear this out, which are five different types of covers on top of that, including two covers that y'all have, like that you commented on my March schedule post asking me to create a cover. And we're going to start with the most simple one, which would be a background, a name, and social links. And in this case, the background needs to be something that you're making. So, for example, if this was one of your products, which, by the way, was one of my old products. It's a seamless pattern that I made with watercolor trees that I designed. So if this is an existing product in my shop, then I will use the, the, the specific background for it. But don't use backgrounds that have nothing to do with your shop or your designs. Let me see if I have this actually here on Canva, because I do believe that I uploaded it at some point. And yes, I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my art and I'm going to put it all the way here. Maybe I think it needs a bit more. So let's go to elements because it's a seamless pattern. I can just repeat it. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to basically select the three. I think that would be good. No, maybe the four. Because we are doing 2400 by 600, then an exact square would be if I divided it into four. And I'm going to go here and I'm just going to quickly lay this out here to be my pattern and what I'll do next is I'll go back to elements and I'll just choose a random size square and I'm going to take this square and I'm going to flat out put it on everything but then I'm going to minimize it just a bit and I'm going to try you know you minimize it evenly and I'm going to center it I just want to make sure that it looks nice and I am going to color it in white and change the opacity a bit so it's something like this and then I'm going to write down so this is a background a name and social link so I'm going to go to text and let's just write like you can also do like welcome to my shop but I'm just going to write art by May Aloya. And let's choose a cool font. And again, if there are fonts that you are using in your works, now would be the time to use them because you want things to look organic. You want things to look as if they belong. And if something is not going to look like they belong here, it's not going to work. And for what I want to do, because I have a relatively short name, maybe I'll just change it to like watercolor art by May Aloya and I'm gonna make it a bit, a bit smaller well not small enough and I'm going to center this I need to find a font that looks better on this background okay so I'm gonna choose this one and I really want to make sure that I'm fitting the colors right to the background I don't know if you know this feature by Canva but once you upload a photo you get to choose colors from that photo which is super helpful great tool by Canva Canva in general are awesome and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna click on Instagram now let's say you have like Instagram Facebook and Pinterest so the minute you're gonna choose one of these you're gonna see other one that pop up in magic recommendations so I'm gonna see if they have also Facebook and Pinterest in the same style because I want to use like the same variations but this specific one I'd rather it to be like rounded up a bit they do have the Facebook and Pinterest like this so maybe let's try and see what comes up of this and I'm gonna do the Pinterest and okay so this is its Instagram so let's just quickly go here and I'm gonna select all three of these and make them smaller and just place them all over here and just basically write down my tags so let's say if this was my shop it would be like watercolor dot oil these are examples don't go googling these things on like Instagram you're not gonna find anything 
it's just for this tutorial I made it up right now so let's just say I'm gonna do this and basically just align it as you would I really don't want to drag this on long and longer because there are so many different types of things that you can do you can change the colors of everything you can change the fonts of everything and this is not like you know do exactly as I do kind of tutorial this is more like use your own creativity to come up with your own ideas and the way to do it because it's all up to how creative you are and generally speaking if you're not that creative of a person well what are you doing on Redbubble? and I'm just gonna try and play around with it and of course this looks completely different when you do it based on your type of art or your design style so for each person this cover technique could look totally different you can add your own website your own I don't know WhatsApp whatever you want so let's just make sure that this is centered and this would be the cover photo so it's it's actually quite big I kind of like this one I wish I was like doing just watercolor and we're moving on to the second one which is artist focused an artist focus is for the people who I don't know if you've seen my video like why are your red bubble products not selling part two but I was talking about being absent from your social media as an artist so if you chose to show yourself on social media or if you want to choose to show yourself up on Redbubble this would be an amazing thing to do and I really wanted to address people who do like you know watercolor paintings or oil paintings or any kind of like visual art that they photo photograph and then upload to Redbubble but I'm not doing it so I took a bunch of photos from Pixabay and I pre-uploaded them here and you know, obviously you're not going to be able to do it because you actually need photos of yourself. And I just took this one. Let me make sure that it's here. So I took a photo like this and I tried to make a photo of like the same person sort of. And then I also tried to imagine what their art looks like and make mock-ups of it on products. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and this is like an all artist photos like there will be no text you have a place on Redbubble to place in all of your social links and everything that you are about and what you are and who you are so it's not about that it's about basically like showing behind the scenes plus some products which I think is a nice concept and that way you're sort of creating the vibe of combining you know I'm an artist plus my art creates beautiful products and in this case, it's really all about creating the right mockups because Redbubble mockups are going to look ridiculous here, like not in a good, ridiculous way. The same thing that I did with the artist focus, I can do something a bit similar to this. And what I'm going to do is like basically do like floating images. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go back to the grid. Let's just grab this one. Place it all the way here and sort of minimize it. And work on the spacing a bit more. Not that much. But I can use the same photos and just put them here. So this like my artist guy. So I'm gonna just quickly grab a text here and write down something like just you know throwing up a name minimizing the line heights and what I'll do is basically grab all the social icons here or for example if this person has you know all of their social links basically under the same username which is very much recommended so I will just do like this and just place all of them together Let me just, maybe this one needs a different font to look good. For example, this one, and then I'll just grab one of these for the below one. And just right here, like, you know, Jacob Levi. Jacob Levi art, for example. And this will be centered here as well, underneath this. And this would be a cover photo that is more targeted to the artist. And it's very clean. It's very minimal. I think it looks good, actually. Yeah, it looks really nice and it's really clear. I mean, people can just look at it and see, oh, he's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, he's on Pinterest. 
and really get a glimpse behind the scene because Redbubble is genuinely about the shopping experience so much. So if you have a cover photo that really sends out a message, it's really important. By the way, if you have your own website, so what you do is you just take this one in the middle. And let's just write, you know, like www.jacoblevyart.com. And you basically put this here. And I don't know if you've seen my latest update, but we're going to have a tutorial about how to make your own website for free on the 29th of the month because I wanted it to be after the SEO tutorial that's going to be on the 26th. And by SEO, I don't mean Redbubble SEO. I mean Google SEO, which, by the way, is really important for Redbubble. So these are some of the first few ones. And now I want to move on to product-focused ones. And I'm going to start with a sticker wall. And for that, we have Stephanie Crimes. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. From I Want That One. So this is the cover photo that exists now. And I was looking into this shop and I really wanted to design something special. And the products that really stuck out for me were the stickers. So what I need to do when I want to do a cover base on stickers, I need to go into each sticker and download the photo and delete the background. Now I know that you guys can do like a download photo from your product marketing page, but the sticker will appear very small and it will create a very small file. So what I do is I go to a sticker page and preferably I will choose the larger size, but this one only comes up to medium. And I mean, you know, you can't like, you know, save the photo from here. So what I do is I click on inspect element and I basically grab the code from the photo and I put it here. And I don't know which program you're using to delete backgrounds. I'm using Clip Studio Paint, you can use Photoshop. And like from here, I can save it up real quick. I'm going to quickly show it on Finder and show you what I do to clean it up. Because the space around here is pretty right so what i'm going to do is i'm first going to give this a bit of a an over white layer here and then i'm going to clear the background around it i'm going to save it as it is like this i don't need to crop it now and of course if you're using a jpeg file and then you clean it up you need to save it back as png because otherwise it's gonna just have a white background here i'm going to close it because i don't need clip studio paint for now and I'm going to open this up in my computer on the Mac and just, you know, just cut, crop this part out and go back to my banner design and just slide this here. So I already pre-cleaned up some photos here for the stickers for this artist. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at them and think which ones are the ones that I want to send out the biggest message from and I really like the positivity and the grateful and the spring and all that so they're going to be the last ones that I upload so I'm just gonna quickly throw in a bunch of stuff So these will be the two covers I did with a sticker idea. And again, it's really easy. You just go in to the sticker page and you make the large sticker and you use the inspect element to save the sticker and then you just clean it up. And now I am moving on to a fashion focused product. And for that, I'm going to go to this shop by Rachel K. 
Now, this cover is sort of interesting. Like, it has something to it. I thought I might try and make a similar cover to this one, like, based on the t-shirts and also that shows off your Amazon store. Although, I don't think it's really smart to put the Amazon link here. I think just the link tree will be enough if you have the, the Amazon link here. So, I'm going to work on what you did. So what I'll do here is after I downloaded these photos, and again, I did the same system by going into a product. So let's just go in real quick and remind you guys how to do it. So I would basically go here and I would find the one that I want to use. So let's say I want to use her. And I will click right click inspect. In some computers, it might say inspect element. And I'm going to hover over the link. You see that once I hover over this, it, it shows up in here and I'm gonna double click it, I'm gonna copy and paste it here. And this is a photo that I can actually save. Canva has a feature to clean the background of a photo and it's usually pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here, also don't worry about stretching them out because most of them are like 750 pixel or 1000 pixels and the height here is 600, so it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go to effects and while I'm selecting this photo, I'll click remove background. Now, this might not work on all of the photos, but let's just have a look because I'm not sure if the Canva background remover is going to properly scan this one. I'm just going to quickly change the background color. So we're going to be, you know, we, we want to be sure that the background is clear. So let's go and remove background. It came out fantastic. And don't worry if in your computer it takes you longer than it takes me because, you know, the magic of photo editing because these take forever to clean up. So let me just, you know, give you some music in the background while I clean everything up. Now that we are all cleaned up, I know that this might sound like sexist or chauvinist, but a lot of people forget the fact that the majority of men are taller than women. So if I'll place photos like this next to each other, it's going to look weird. So I'm just going to try and make the men taller. Let's just remove this and I want to see the vibe that I'm getting from this one. This one needs to be closer. Oh, they look like they're holding hands. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the commentaries on this one, guys. I'm super tired. Let's see how they look with like a real wall here. No. I think this might look nice. Even though the colors are not exactly matching. I could seriously play around with this forever. Let's just try and think about something. Maybe something in the templates, you know? Because sometimes you can just take the background of some templates and just slap the people on them. I think I'll go with this one. But I'm going to clear this up and I'm going to look into your shop and this says Apothecary by Rachel K. So let's just make sure that I copy this correctly and I'm going to write here Apothecary by Rachel K. And your link tree is, well, Apotha, Apothecary. Is that exactly this one? Yeah. So let's go like www link tree stash pocket carry and i'm gonna work a bit maybe this one goes away and now i'm gonna try to put the people in here yeah i made them i made him too tall and grab these three this happy bunch and match their sizes and I would totally go with something like this for you I mean I think that it looks super clean a, a lot more cleaner than the one that you have now but 
also I can just you know take this and make this one like really big let's see if it's not too big it might be too big I kind of like it I don't know if you like it but I really do like it and I think it's an awesome cover photo if you want it let me know if you don't want it I'm cool with that too I'm, I'm really trying to remove ego from all of this because I know that you know different people have different types of tastes and you know something that I like is not going to necessarily be something that you like and at the end of the day it's all about you feeling connected to this because you're going to have to look at this every single day not me so I like it and I am moving on to another one that is product focus. And this one is going to be about home decor. And in this case, what I did is completely went over place it because they have amazing home decor mock-ups. And I just went into the mock-up section on home decor. I didn't really choose, you know, wall art or pillows or blankets. But I mean, come on. This is so cool. This is so much better than the, the blanket on, the, on Redbubble these pillows here look amazing and you have all kinds of really amazing mock-ups for home decor i mean you have the pillows here and in this design it's actually a pillow and the blanket beneath it you have the shower curtain you have the babies which are not home decor i don't even know what this is doing here oh the blanket is also adjustable so in this case, for example, you have this pillow and this blanket, the girl with the blanket that I actually used. You have more wall art. You have mostly wall art, but you know, if you scroll through because they have like 31 pages, let's see what's like on page 30. So these bed linens, I mean, come on, this looks way better than the ones on Redbubble. Spot on. These are so much better. And you also have some videos here, which is important to say because you can use the videos here for your social media. And I'm going to go back to the design and I'm going to just, you know, go here. And I'm going back to my uploads because I've already done a few mock-ups for home decor. And I'm just going to, you know, quickly open them up. By the way, these are my paintings. I don't know if you can see them, but for example, this is something because I've had a lot of people asking me how I make my art. So this one was actually in a tutorial that I did for printable wall art for Etsy using Creative Fabrica. So I got the mountains from a cell, from a different seller. I got the trees, I got the van, and then I got like watercolor backgrounds and sort of compiled this while changing the colors. And these two are seamless patterns that I created from watercolor trees that I did on Tayasui sketches. So I designed them myself. And these ones are actually paintings that I did with Tayasui sketches, full on paintings from a blank page. So I do all kinds of things. I have some of the art that I make and some that I, you know, compile. As long as it's legal, you know, you're using things that are meant for commercial purposes. So you can have just a cover photo that is this, or you can, you know, grab one of these and put them here and grab the other one and sort of put it here and then add some text here. Well, obviously, we're going to have to color this and uh, try to find colors that match here by, let's just say, like, um, something like this and then put the link tree thing below. Let's just grab it. Or even put the social channels here. You, know, you can just grab whatever we did here and just put them back there. But, yeah, what did you guys think? I'm trying to think if I want to make more covers, but I think that really this covers it up. We also have like the baby photos. I'm just going to try and quickly find out if I can see them here. So if you have stuff for babies, you can basically just do the same, but with babies. So I'm just going to grab this one. So there are so many things that you can do, especially if you're using external mockups and if you know, you know, proper tools, because I did know that a lot of people using Canva Pro didn't know that they can clean background for images. Or, you know, a lot of people don't know this trick with doing the inspect element kind of thing and basically reading out the photo and being able to save it without taking it from your main page. I did have this shop open here 
because it's one of the people who commented as well. And I have to say, I adore, I adore this cover. It's simple, it's fantastic, and it's, it's actually quite easy to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the background completely black. And then I'm going to take one of the watercolor photos that I liked, which is this one. No. I need the one that is like full on. And put it all over here, but then I'm going to play with the transparency. I can, you know, choose something that will look nicer in here. This one is pretty. Me likey. And go to the effects and work on the echo to make it white. So I can either do it with the echo or I can use the splice one. There are so many ways to design a simple cover. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to create a perfect thing every time. Maybe the shadow one will do better. Yeah, the shadow and, of course, adjusting the transparency of the shadow. And you can do so many different types of things with Canva. And I don't know which tools you guys are using the most or what do you like the most, but there are so many different things that you can do. It's all about being creative and just, you know, what I said about in the previous video, which is playing my favorite game, which is what does this button do? So just clicking on things and seeing what they do. And I know that a lot of people wanted to see my cover photo, which I don't know why it's so hard for you to see because I place my links all over the place, but let me just go in and show you mine. So what I did, this is not even a product photo. I just took the physical graphics that I was using for a lot of my products and I just put them here and wrote down something that I thought was funny, which is welcome to my head. Yes, it's weird in here. And I'm probably going to change it, but I'm really addicted to Laurendina or Londriana font, whichever it's called. I'm using it all over YouTube and I'm going to use it for my new website as well because I'm opening my own website like with my name just to back up the YouTube channel. And I like doing it this way. I kind of like it. I really like minimal and clean stuff. And I think that it shows like the weirdness of some of the things that I do. You can also make your covers adjustable to holidays. So like, for example, for Easter, which is, it's pretty close, I know. But let's say we were about to approach Christmas. So you would really find like, let's just try and see if there are Christmas templates. You could just pick one of those and write down like happy holiday or the name of your store when it's Christmas because you can change the banners based on holidays. It's kind of cool. And also if Redbubble is having a sale, let's say they're having a sale for stickers. So people don't have to know that this is like, it's a full website sale. Every sticker on Redbubble is now on sale. So you can write down like stickers, buy 10, get 50% off which is the sale that they have on all of their stickers and you can publish the sale on your banner and that's it for the screen let's get back to me and talk a little bit more because I actually have a question that I want to ask you guys and it's regarding April's videos that was a very <laughs> very long video I know that some people ask me like what time do I get up to make the videos or the process of it. So I basically woke up at like four, I think today I was working on the grid, which is basically putting everything down together and thinking what I want to do. I started filming the screenshot at about, I think it was six. And right now it's a little before 8 a.m. So I'm filming this right now. And then, you know, it's about two, three hours of editing and five hours of uploading it to YouTube. Yay! This internet here, it's, it's really bad. It takes forever. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. Let me know, you know, if you're going to do your cover photo in a similar way. And for the two people that I designed their cover photo in this video, if you want that cover photo or any of its element, just reach out to me on Instagram. I'm may.arroyo and send me your email address so I can email those covers to you. And you know, you don't even have to give me credit. I really enjoyed making them. I hope you like them. If you don't, well, you didn't pay for it. <laughs> so that's a plus. And I do want to ask you a few questions. I think it's more like of a one question because I'm starting to think about my schedule and what I want to do in April. And I already know that like I'm going to do, you know, an Instagram tutorial on April. And I also want to do another website tutorial on April because this current website tutorial is going to be very focused on, you know, 
basically breaking down niches. I'm also going to have a few more tutorials about other places that are not Redbubble or more like a show through like Zazzle or Teespring or Teepublic or Fine Art America and I'm going to investigate those as well because most of them seem pretty interesting. I am going to have a few more videos about different types of, you know, design with me. But I was thinking about a series of videos and I want to ask you guys if this is something that is interesting to you because it's going to be a very long series of videos and I won't do it if nobody wants it. So on the 10th of the month, which is in just a few days, I'm going to do a full video about digital download products for Etsy. And these are some of the options you have. And I'm not talking about niches. I'm talking about digital download products because a lot of people think that it's just like printable wall art. No, it's a lot more. And on top of this one video, there are going to be videos that touch each point. So for example, if there is, uh, you know, you can create printable greeting cards, I am having a full tutorial about how to make greeting cards. So that's going to be for all of that. But I do have another video on the 19th that will be 15 evergreen niche ideas for Redbubble. And I'm talking about like full store niche ideas with sub niches. And I wanted to know if you'd be interested in me creating a design tutorial or more like a design inspiration for each and every one of those niches. Let me know if this is interesting to you. And generally speaking, let me know what you guys want to see here in this channel because I just started out and to be honest, when I first started this channel, my first video that I uploaded that you won't be able to find because I deleted it was about affiliate marketing because I wanted to start a YouTube channel about affiliate marketing and and I ended up thinking that maybe that this would not be the right thing for me because affiliate marketing is what I usually do. It's like most of my business comes from affiliate marketing and I thought to myself that having a business about affiliate marketing and then blogging about affiliate marketing on video would just drive me nuts. And so I wanted to add a few other things because I love Redbubble and I love Etsy and I love Society6 and all that. So I basically started a more print on demand, Redbubble design focused YouTube channel. But I was starting to think that maybe I should put in some more affiliate sort of like what is affiliate marketing, how to get started, how can you do affiliate marketing with or without a website, niches, stuff like that. So if that is interesting to you guys, let me know. Because when I started this channel, again, I wasn't really sure what I'm going to be talking about. It might feel a bit weird that I'm telling you guys like, I don't know what to talk about, you tell me, because I have so many ideas. I think the problem was that when I sat down to make a video channel, like a YouTube channel about Redbubble or, or even like Redbubble and Etsy, I wrote down, I think it was 200 video ideas. And even if I make a video a day, <laughs> 200 is going to take us a very long time. So please be kind and let me know what you want me to make videos about. I'm reminding you that tomorrow, is that tomorrow? I'm just going to remind you real quick that tomorrow I will be seeing you again for how to promote your Redbubble store on Pinterest. And I do believe that it's not what you thought it was going to be. I'm going to show you several systems, even as opposed like to creating the pins. There are four different main ways to create pins for Pinterest. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the platform and about basic SEO for Pinterest, which is a lot more than keywords. And people don't know that. So I will see you tomorrow for that video. If you like this video, please hit that like button on YouTube because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video and I'm going to show it to more people. And of course, if you like the content in my channel and want to see more, click that subscribe button. And that's it from me for today. I will see you in my next video, which is tomorrow. By the way, if you don't want to miss out on live chats with me during video premieres, just go to my Instagram, may.arroyo. I always post a story that says, hey, video is premiering soon, so you'll know when to go live. During the video premieres, I, I kind of like to think of it as if, you know, I, I wish I could like start here and like make popcorn and, and watch it with you guys. This is really fun for me to watch it with you guys. And during the live chat, I am available to answer any questions that you have on the video. So like if you saw something specific on the video and you want to ask me about it, just you, you can comment it. It's a live chat and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.